guys it's Clara welcome back to my channel this video is this week's grocery haul from Aldi in addition to our meal plan for the week stay tuned okay first thing I bought was this container of specially selected deluxe mixed nuts this container of baking cocoa I've been really into the flat baby leaf spinach I'm still very much into it I pretty much use this to replace rice a lot of the time or bread a lot of the time I'll throw it into omelets or just have it cooked by itself or have a spinach salad there's so many different uses for spinach some grapes love red grapes broccoli a couple containers of mushrooms and I was excited to finally find a poppy seed dressing Unfortunately, it looks like it might be a limited seasonal kind of an item just because it was in the aisle where a lot of the stuff that goes on sale is, the holiday stuff, that kind of thing. But we're gonna give this a go and try this on top of some flat leaf spinach. Also some yellow squash, zucchini, celery, bananas. There weren't a whole ton um, that were green. These were the only ones that I could really find and also decided to try their Happy Farms Spirals string cheese. We'll see how that goes. I've been in the mood for bean and bacon soup, and yes, I know I can make a better one on my own rather than eating canned, but sometimes you just want something best. Roma tomatoes, my favorite with everything pretty much. Sweet potatoes. The new item that I'm trying this week is the Bremer. Bramer, everyday brand of the gravy and Salisbury steaks. It is kind of a lot of fat. I think it's 11 grams of fat per serving, but we'll be having this with some flat leaf spinach and probably have a side of these potatoes, a couple dozen eggs, a variety of Greek yogurt. So we have the traditional, the non-fat blueberry, banana cream, and this looked interesting, the toasted coconut vanilla. That sounds good. My husband probably won't like that, so I'll probably have that for myself. Also in um, that special kind of aisle where stuff was discounted and items probably come temporarily or whatever, I saw this Kraft Avocado Oil Mayo. If you follow the Whole30, it is not technically Whole30 compliant because there is a little bit of sugar and soy. So yeah, that's kind of a bummer. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd give it a try, give it a go. This I already broke into. I have to watch myself with this because it is, is way, way, it is way too good. It's the artisan jerky, bold hickory. I decided to try their buffalo style chicken wings. I also bought LaCroix and the tangerine and the lime. And yes, it is LaCroix. I know I've, I've gotten comments that it's, no, it's LaCroix. And I used to say LaCroix until somebody who works at LaCroix told me no. Brand name is LaCroix, so okay, fine. Uh, also, Mom's Group is having a sangria night tomorrow, so I'm going to be bringing this item, the raspberry Hoffa cakes? Jaffa? Hoffa? I don't know. Sponge cookies with raspberry fruit filling, the never any chicken sausage, apple sausage, that is a new thing, and also some chicken breast, never any tenderloins. All right, let's head on over to the meal plan. Um, nothing too crazy. Uh, Sunday we'll be having some chicken fajitas. That's what the chicken breast is for. Um, I have some leftover bell peppers, some leftover red onion, and we'll be having that on top of spinach. So good. Uh, Monday, Tuesday will be those Salisbury steaks. There's six of them per box, so that's kind of a lot for us. Um, but we're gonna make it last for two meals with potatoes on the side, spinach salad with a poppy seed dressing. I might throw some Roma tomatoes on top of the salad. And then Wednesday, I saw this recipe for chorizo with apple. And unfortunately, I could not find chorizo this time at Aldi. But we're gonna take that apple sausage and then use that instead and maybe try to spice it up with some crushed red pepper or something. But essentially, I saw a picture where they took took the apple and they kind of like um, brown it a little bit and you eat that with the sausage and then with the saltiness of the sausage it has a nice play with the sweet tartness of the apple so we will see I have um, some leftover galas that might not work well with that recipe because I don't know it might call for something sour like a green apple Thursday and Friday we'll have vegetable soup I'll be using the squashes for that um, maybe part of the broccoli for that and uh, one of those days will be buffalo wings. And then Saturday, 
If I have some leftover veggies, I might make a mac and cheese. So that is this week's grocery haul from Aldi and meal plan for the week. Any new recipes, guys? What you cooking? What you making? Let me know. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care.